elasticity of demand total expenditure method total expenditure method is yet another method of measuring elasticity of demand take this demand schedule this conforms to the law of demand the price falls the quantity demanded goes up to find its elasticity we have to calculate the total expenditure at a different price level this is the total expenditure examine the movement in the price and the changes in the total expenditure the total expenditure is unaffected we can conclude that if the total expenditure is constant and unaffected for any change in price then the demand is unitary elastic look at this table this is a demand schedule it also satisfies the law of demand but what kind of elasticity it represents for this again we have to calculate the total expenditure analyze the total expenditure behavior begin with rupees 5 with a fall in price the consumer spends more than before his expenditure increases from 100 rupees to 120 rupees once again start with 5 rupees the price goes up to rupees 10 his expenditure reduces from 100 rupees to 80 rupees according to our observation the price and total expenditure are moving in the opposite direction what does it mean if the total expenditure decreases with a rise in price and increases with a fall in price the demand is relatively elastic let us observe one more demand schedule we have to calculate the total expenditure to find out its elasticity once again we shall begin with 5 rupees price when the price falls from rupees 5 to rupees 2 the total expenditure also falls from 100 rupees to 80 rupees when the price goes up to 10 rupees from 5 rupees the consumer spends 150 rupees this is greater than the initial expenditure 100 rupees in this case price and the total expenditure are moving in the same direction then we can say if the total expenditure increases with a rise in price and decreases with a fall in price the demand is relatively inelastic it should be understood that by using total expenditure method one can identify whether the demand is relatively elastic or unitary elastic or relatively inelastic it will not assign a numerical value to the elasticity as you have learnt in percentage method thanks for watching we shall meet again thanks for watching we shall meet again